Rishi Sunak's leadership campaign essentially falls apart as he makes the biggest U-turn and abandons his main platform. Hello to you all beautiful freedom fighters. Welcome to the first video update of the day. We're going to come to you guys throughout the whole day with all the news updates on the leadership election and what's going on with the Labour Party. They're in turmoil and what is happening with Boris Johnson's future ambitions? First, let's talk about the guy who brought down Boris Johnson, Rishi Sunak. Rishi Sunak had one main platform in his, uh, during his leadership campaign. One main platform. And that was to oppose tax cuts. <laughs> he was the Gordon Brown candidate of the leadership race. And he was calling everybody, including Liz Truss, the only candidates who uh, promoted tax cuts, especially on VAT, on energy VAT. He said they are talking about fairy tales. They are, you know, talking about the fantasy land and it's not realistic. Yet, following last night's um, leadership debate on Talk TV, uh, which, uh, of course, um, didn't really finish uh, because of Kate McCann, uh, who fainted during the debate, he suddenly, his team, because they probably saw how they were being destroyed on the tax argument, made a bit of a U-turn and completely ripped apart their own agenda, <laughs> released a statement, immediate statement, promising an instant £4.3 billion tax cut if elected as leader and prime minister, and also supply-side reforms, basically copying Liz Truss. <laughs> he also promised to reduce Britain's re reliance on French ports. I mean, again, this is classic politician a lot of people said well we can't really trust Liz Trust because she said you know, at the time she was uh, when she was a kid she was a Lib Dem and then she was a Remainer and she says she regrets that she's now a Brexit she's learned from her mistakes but how can we trust her she changed her mind well what about this one <laughs> I mean this is classic this is why people don't have faith in politicians anymore I mean they didn't really have it before but it's getting worse and worse because it's not really just changing your mind. This is not changing your mind. This is just tactics. This is simply, you, it's impossible that, you know, at nine, about 6 p.m. yesterday, he's still opposing uh, tax cuts. And then at 8 p.m., suddenly, they're like, well, I am now in favor of Thatcherism. It makes no sense. So the press release says, the total, of, the total cost of the cut would be um, £4.3 billion because this is a temporary measure. It will not reduce headroom against the fiscal rules when they apply in 2024 and 2025. So, I mean, he said the other tax cuts are immoral. So, as Guido says, I'm guessing this is uh, only temporarily immoral. So, yeah, this, this, is, this was fine. Everything's fine. In case you guys forgot what Rishi Sunak said in the past, quite recently, watch this. Mr. Speaker, I know that some in this House have argued for a VAT cut on energy. Yes, we have. However, that policy would disproportionately benefit wealthier households. Yes, yes, yes. There would be no guarantee that suppliers would pass on the discounts to all customers, and we should be honest with ourselves. This would become a permanent government subsidy on everyone's bills. A permanent subsidy worth two and a half billion pounds every year. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Since when are <laughs> tax cuts the same as subsidies? This is, again, this is Gordon Brown in making. Uh, if you combine Gordon Brown and Theresa May, their faces and their brains, but not their fashion sense, because Gordon Brown didn't have a fashion sense, um, then, the, yeah, you create Rishi Sunak. And the sne sneakiness of uh, uh, Tony Blair. Yeah, let's add in Tony Blair into the mix as well. Why not? He literally said... That firstly he lied. He, this was a labor line. This is a socialist line. That oh well, these tax cuts will only help the rich. Why do you always say that? You do realize that this theory has been debunked decades ago. It has been debunked. Stop using the socialist line. Secondly, it is not a subsidy. If it were a subsidy, then why are you doing it now? Let's just say then you know that Richard Sunak was right. Then why is he? doing what he said was a bad idea. Which one is it, Rishi? Which one is it? Now, we are going to come back. We are going to talk about a lot of other issues. Just another reminder, we have introduced our new merchandise, Build Back Britain, to fight against Build Back Better and globalism. Uh, the link is in the description. Check it out. Uh, we're going to come back in half an hour, give you more updates on Boris Johnson's future, because that's going to get very 
interesting. Subscribe to, subscribe to the channel, indeed. <laughs> I'm Maya TC and we are the media.